Back here with another episode of More Than Just a Game, where we're honoring coaches across the country. We're here in Aurora, Colorado, suburb of Denver. And we're here, we got Jordan Bible, Coach Jordan Bible, the defensive coordinator for Vista Peak. Vista Peak again is in the 5A Colorado State semifinals. It's been a tough year with COVID, but these guys somehow found a way to, 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 to fight through the battles and the toughness, the politics, and COVID-19. Coach, thank you for being here with us. Thanks for having me, appreciate it. Coach, you're a defensive coordinator here. How long have you been here, and what have you seen the program grow? How, what have you seen? So, this is my third season being here at Vista Peak, and I mean, it, it started off my first season here. They were a newer school. I think it was only their fourth year being a, a school all together in a program. So we stepped in at the lower ranks, of course, 3A football. And when I stepped in, I know Coach Soley, the head coach from way back. And it was just real good to come in and see the vision that he had, right? He had a lot of the same philosophy that I had where success, winning comes from building young men first and the program that you're building. And everything after that fits into the process and starts at the process. So really with us coming together and seeing that vision, came in and of course it was the hard knocks, getting that, that, that foundation laid, so to speak, my first year, three years ago. But ever since, we've been having some success. We've been seeing some great athletes come through. And really it's, it's just good to see where we're at now, state semifinals. Congratulations again, Coach. Appreciate that. Coach, you talk about philosophies and strategies. Now you're in a master's program here at the University of Denver, I believe. Yeah. Tell me about the new philosophies and strategies that they, they're, they're emphasizing in this master's program um, in the future for these kids and for the youth. Definitely. So my program over at DU is under the paradigm of sports psychology. So first off, that just notifies us as athletes, as you know as a former athlete, there's been historically so much interest, so much focus on the body, the building of the body, right, almost as a machine. So the sports psychology paradigm brings in the focus that, well, that body's nothing without this mind and what we do with it here. And really, if there's gonna be a, a distribution, what's going on up here is gonna help or deter what's happening in your body. So that's where it starts. And then in my coaching program, really what we've identified is in the past, there's a lot of structures that, that mirror and paralyze different techniques used for discipline in the military that we started using in sports. And why that is good for getting efficiency, getting guys to understand discipline to a certain level, but right. if it's too militant, then you just, you, you're not creating relationships with guys. And after my career, that's something I saw, something I struggled with. So this, this program is really just enhancing how do we coach from a different area, from a different paradigm where we can coach more relationally, still need to get things accomplished and things done, but let's, let's create relationships and really, really, if we're going to talk about grooming young men, grooming young people away from the field, let's do it. Coach Bible, that is awesome because these kind of programs are taking our coaches to a new level and our coaches are evolving with the times and changing with the times. Saying that coach, what is the one fundamental thing that you've grown as a coach in these three years that you've grown personally that made you better? The biggest thing is, is not holding this mask. When I first started coaching, I held this mask on that I had to come out here, I had to be the macho, I had to be the guy with the whistle, I had to stay hardcore on these guys, and almost I couldn't show a vulnerability of who I was. On my bad days, I couldn't show up and I couldn't be transparent to the athletes. And at a certain point, it flipped in my head where if we're gonna ask them for transparency to come to us, lean on us when they need us, not in the game, but just in life, then we need to do that same thing. So about two years ago, I really sat down with myself and said, I'm a coach this year from a way of just being real and honest with guys about who I am, my good, my bad, the things I'm proud of, some of the mistakes I've made, when I'm having a bad day, how I handle those bad days, and how that's gonna help me go further. You know, And, and once again, if you're gonna follow me, then, then follow me in my good and my bad, but understand nobody's this perfect picture, so to speak. So. Coach Bible, right now, you're on a big interview. There's so gonna be lots of people watch this. What makes you the difference in a big defensive coordinator? Why should a big program hire you? Um, I mean, there, there's two parts to it. I mean, schematically, I've been, I have God-given talent where this stuff, the schematics, teaching, leading has always come natural to me. So that's, that's the first thing, that's what got me the job. 
what goes beyond that and what I've grown and why I think that, you know, I'd, I'd, I want to lead programs on the big time scale from here on out is who I am as a man, right? And that once again, whatever organization you have, football team, a business, politics per se, whoever your leader is, right? A true leader, whoever the business is, whoever the following behind them, they're going to pick up on the character whoever that is ahead and at this point I'm not perfect don't like to you know say that I don't have my bad days things I'm still working on but with that being said I'm always reflective and I'm always working forward and that's something I can be proud of and I've seen how that's affected my players in the same way where they're always working and they're always following me and that's that's something I trust myself with. Coach Bible here is really excited about Friday night Coach Bible, can you really believe it this is a real that you got this chance to be in the semifinals. I remember me, us playing in the semifinals. You're one step away. Yeah. How are you keeping focus, man? How are you absorbing all of this? It's it's tough. It's a daily practice. Once again, when I wake up in the morning, I you know I'm big into meditation, yoga, some different practices that have helped me. But it's it's tough. You know, it's surreal. This feeling is surreal. You thought about it. I've dreamed about it. I've manifested it, and now it's here. And within that, me just settling down into my morning every single morning and really just getting back to sticking to my routine. You know, as we tell the players, this game is no different than any other game we play. Is there more spark around it? Is there more consequences? Is there more intensity? Yeah, definitely. But when it comes to playing and we get on that field at 7 p.m., I can't do anything different as a leader, as a coach. They can't do anything different than they've done to bring us success all year, right? We, we amplify it, we turn it up. Right. But everything, the foundation's already laid. Now, now we just get to go part, right? right. <laughs> hey, we wish these guys luck again with Coach Jordan Bible here, just an awesome motivator coach yeah, for Vista funny. Peak Preparatory Academy. Coach, bring us in Friday. Let us know what you expect and send us away. Yeah, well, I'm expecting good things. You know, once again, I don't like to look at the wins, losses. Of course, we're, we're motivated and pushing towards a win. But over, overall, like I've told these guys, I'm proud of them. What we've done this year already up to this point is unbelievable. You know, we, we've had to grow some character. We've had to grow some leadership. We've grown good young men going forward. So that's an accomplishment. With all that being said, I want to win this big game, and we're doing everything that I think as you saw today in practice with keeping the energy and, and, and keeping our process going. So I'm, I'm manifesting some good things happening and uh, hopefully you'll be getting good work Friday night that we're headed to uh, the state final game. State final game, where's that play at? CSU Pueblo, down south, south of, yeah, about two hours south of Denver itself. Yeah. That concludes this interview with Coach Jordan Bible, again, defensive coordinator for Vista Peak Preparatory Academy. More than just a game, See you next time. I'm Coach Ray Booker. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. Right on, man. Right, man.